Previously on Sonic Adventure 2. Why so melancholy? I didn't come to save you. So let's get the show on the road. No see. I managed to find the transcripts between Eggman and the president in the government computer. Hey! Wait for me, Tails! I'm a winner! Why are you so upset? Well, that was really impressive. You've managed to create complete havoc on the whole planet. Does this now mean we control the planet and can do as we choose? At this rate, the cannon will take too much time to charge up. Yeah. If you want to unleash its full potential, you'll need all seven Chaos Emeralds. Where in the world have you been? Did something happen? What? Our threats fell on deaf ears. What? You, throwing a tantrum like a little kid. How totally embarrassing. Don't forget your end of the bargain, Bat Girl. Bat Girl? We had a deal, right? So where is my emerald? Here you go. I found this. Why didn't you show me this before? Because it was printed this morning. From a life -threatening missile attack. <laughs> hey, you remember that from the last game? Prize to the boy who saved Station Square. Miles tails per hour. I wouldn't count him as a boy in a city ruled by human. Indeed, at a ceremony held at City Hall. Yep, he just coughed over himself. Hurry, go back to Earth and find them fast. I want the Chaos Emerald! Did you get that? Soon enough, Maria. 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 This is Rouge reporting. Currently, I have not been able to confirm if Shadow is the ultimate life form or not. I will continue my research on Project Shadow and have a follow-up report very shortly. And just a reminder, don't forget about my jewel. Ah, jewels. Wink, wink. Now we got stage 10, route 280. Where are we Dri driving? 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 Yeah! Here's a little fun mini get on that's not fun. Yeah, so not only uh B breaks by the way, and it, well, I actually does something different. It boosts powers. Uh the so yeah, um, it's basically just like that tail stage that we just did, but I think um, one of the biggest problems with this is that it's really difficult. You will never want to jump, by the way. Uh, well, it's kind of difficult. It's not incredibly difficult, but it's kind of difficult. I'm going! Because one, they give you way too much time for your own good. Also, that turn right there. There's a there's an openness. Any of these pits will kill you. Yeah. Bum ba da na da na ba ba na na ba na ba na da na 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 da. Ah, getting there. All right. Born to be fast. Well, that's great to advertise on the highway. In fact, this is a really weird highway. Also, how come this level is different despite the fact that she's chasing... Um... Tails. So I believe it's every 25 rings you get. And you get a boost. Which, yeah. Um... Other than that, though, it is just kind of another driving stage, and I think when you beat this, uh, you'll unlock the uh, 
two player. I mean, if you beat both, if you beat one, you unlock one player. If you beat both, and you unlock the two player. Um, it may revolve around the battle. I can't guarantee if it's if it's only available because of the battle uh, expansion, but I don't know. Yep, Rouge is a car. And it looks like anything you'd find from 2001. Crazy Taxi! Hey. Yeah, I don't know, all that stuff. I wish they put more Crazy Taxi games on Steam as well. And also Space Channel 5 Part 1. I'm sorry, but why Part 2? I'm, I mean, I'm just saying, why start with a sequel? Also, Sega Bass Fishing really one of the hot highlight games on the Dreamcast. I'm just saying. They released four games and it's just like, what? Let's go. Ah! I, 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 ju I, I jumped and then I don't know, even know. I believe this is the end level. I do like how the skybox does change. That's nice. By the way, if you were low on time, have fun. By the way, he's flying. He's flying. Why is he flying? Wasn't he driving the car before? B. So yeah. And we get another battle. Also, by the way, you unlock the two-player if you clear both of them. Mr. President, reports show that since the incident three hours ago, the country is in turmoil. Our financial communities are impacted, and our satellite communications are down. Did he do it at like 4 a.m.? An emergency meeting has been called. It's daytime. Mr. President, right now. this is a national crisis. Did you just blow the moon. Nothing much. <laughs> Spare me the details. Exactly, just what is it that you want? Dr. Eggman. <laughs> Skype in 2001 well, is a video with the worst with all the onion skinning in the world. Mr. President, my demands are quite simple. Surrender to the Eggman Empire and make no attempts to resist. Otherwise... Otherwise? <laughs> Otherwise your country will cease to exist. You have 24... Do you realize how big his country answer. is? No way! What the? Hey, it's a hedgehog. <laughs> Sonic Man Empire. Yeah, I'm right. What the heck's going on here? Don't oh, worry, no. Mr. President. Everything's do? under control. <laughs> Just leave He's like, oh no, what'd you, you do? I got it. He's transmitting from the space colony R. Did you really need to take okay. out the disc Let's to do that? Hey, you, Mr. President, we're receiving an incoming signal from our agent. Yeah, the secretary did nothing. And now we go on to stage 11, Skyrail. So now... Shadow, they're in that blue plane. Spotted at 11 o'clock. Copy that. I'm in pursuit. Lots of people do like Skyrail. I, for one, do like Skyrail. It's probably the shortest level in the game, but it's sweet as heck. And it actually reuses the Pumpkin Hill uh, stuff. So anyway, you may be wondering, like, what's with the grinding? Basically, you want to hold it down when there's, like, nothing... When there's, like, no turns. If you do, then you... If you hold it down while there is a turn, then you will go very slowly. Um... Other than that, though, just use your grinding to your advantage, because I believe this stage basically just exploits the grinding. One thing I do like is that part of the multiplayer, there is a, you can race people in levels, and racing people in Skyrail is amusing as heck. <laughs> you, you guys saw that, right? Okay, I, I, I don't want to even go near that guy. Get 
Get used to bouncing on these things because you gotta do it quite a bit. Yeah, that's what you get for grinding way too much. Whoop. Ouch. Oh, I went different path. I told you it was a short stage, it was only like a minute 40. Oh, I'm gonna get told off because I died. Here it goes! Maybe I didn't try hard enough. Yeah, well, because of that friggin' anime, he just plays right at the pit. Oh my gosh. Yeah. There he is! I didn't catch up. Doctor, they're heading directly toward us. What should we do? Just sit tight. We've got them away now. There's no way they can get away. I don't know what they are planning. They're planning, they're planning to sure take us down. down. Welcome. Now we're in the desert. Inside that pyramid? Yeah, seems like it. I saw Eggman go inside the pyramid. And more importantly, I saw that bat girl go inside with Not because you got your priorities wrong, right? You saw them too, right? Well, yeah. Wait, how'd she see them? How'd she see them? I guess because they were together, but it's just like, uh. I'll go and find the entrance. And you will just wait here. So now we're on to stage 10, aka Hidden Base. Yeah. So remember in the, um, uh, in, uh, Sand Ocean when I was like, if you played, if you're playing, uh, Dark Story after Lights, after Hero Story, then it, then it's kind of awkward playing the Sand stage. This is what I mean, because this stage involves a lot of hovering, like a lot, and honestly, this is not my favorite. This is way not a stage that I like. Cause you gotta shoot down these doors and everything, and it takes so long. There's a lot of these like, side doors that you can shoot down if you really want to, but really they give you like an animal. It's just like, no, I don't want to. How come Eggman wants an empire? That's what I ah. That's what I want to know. Uh, and yes, you do have to go through the long way on a lot of these. Oh, 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 no. By the way, you saw how quickly I fell despite the fact that I was clearly hovering. Well, see, now you can tell why I don't like the sand up the desert levels. Hold on, yeah. He comes at, like, the worst time. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so... I do like... Some of the ideas of this level. And I do like their execution, but I feel like just the general gist of the level is annoying. By the way, if I ever develop a video game, I'm probably not going to put a desert level, because I'm not too fond of desert levels. Yes, desert levels are worse than water levels, in my opinion. Also, I believe you can get the iron thing out by falling. Okay, you can't get the iron thing by falling. Maybe yet later. I don't know. If you can't find it, it's not necessary. Someone else look look it up if you really Oh my gosh, and now I'm back here. Oh. Yeah, there's not that many checkpoints in the stage, and it's a lengthyish stage. It's like five minutes. Like there's really not that many checkpoints. Oh! Okay. I... Okay. okay. It's a long stage, I'll tell you that, yeah. And the fact that dying is pretty commonplace. So now you can tell why I don't like this stage. Okay. 
Hey. Also, by the way, yeah, gravity is so weird for the freaking uh, mech units. And this stage is the perfect example of why it doesn't work. Also, I believe if I kill these monkeys, and then I get past these, this Eggman block, and I jump down here, I can't go through it. Okay. It's much quicker if you can just kind of go over. So, yeah. It's really awkward how when you're facing a wall and you try running into it, then you can't actually go. And you know the worst part? Yeah, there was a checkpoint there. Wait, the big question is how did I not hit the checkpoint the first time? Yeah, there's a little lip there, so you're gonna fall pretty much. Also, you jump really high for some of the reason on these. Anyway, yeah. Uh, I don't like this level. I don't like it. You know, Monsters Inc. Scare Factory. I need to LP that game sometime. Okay, I'm. I'm actually. That, although that would be the first game I'd actually use on the, played on the emulator in a while. Um, I will say, I did own that game, and then the disc died. The disc died on that game, and I haven't been able to play it. Um, so I'm thinking, yeah, I'll just emulate it. Because I've actually got a controller, so now I can actually play it properly. At least, kind of properly. Um, I'm actually playing this on controller, so yeah. I will say, if you're really into gaming, get a controller for your PC. It sounds really weird. Oh, okay. It sounds really weird, especially if you play like a lot of shooters, but actually it's great in getting like a different insight on how people play games. And also, f for games with analog control, Analog control is so nice. Like, I don't know, a lot of PC games forget that analog control is great. I mean, we had such great examples, like the 5200. Uh, or the Atari 5200. We all know how much we love that. Um, but like, legitimately. Um, I, I bought the, uh... Oh, I thought this level was like five minutes long. Anyway, I had bought the uh, the Logitech F710. It looks like a PlayStation controller, but it has Xbox buttons. So yeah. I gotta do better next time. And I suck at this level. So yeah, so can't really do anything about that. Anyway, with that, I'm gonna end the part off here. So I'll see you kids next time. <laughs> <laughs>